All right, all right, all right. Yo, what's up, y'all? My name is Ray Nair Boy. Welcome back to my channel, Fishing Trips. Um, I'm on the north side of Houston, aka the hood. Um, I'm in. I'm in need of one thing. I'm in need to catch some white bass. Now it's about the end of February. I don't know if the white bass run has officially started, because you know it's already 7 degrees in February in Houston, which means this summer is going to be a thousand in hell. So I'm not looking forward to that, y'all. Um, so yeah, we're going to explore the creek, see if we can find these white bass. In addition, man, um, I got to stay vigilant because I've been to this park before and ran into a gang of deer. All right, I'm not going to be the first black person to ever die by a deer attack, so that's not going to happen today. Um, so yeah, man, let's try not to get killed by a deer and catch some white bass. Personally, I think I can do it. Enjoy the episode, y'all. Let go. Sure, which way to go? We need to stick on the creek. Squirrel. That's some thick forest. This little pond over here. This little dry spillway over here. Okay, that way is towards the beach. No, I'm going the wrong way. Yeah, I think I came back that way. Okay, I remember that tree. I definitely remember that tree. We're heading in the right direction. Forest of Tranquility, remember this? I'm about 50% confident I didn't come this way. Um, I don't think I remember this bridge. I should have turned around back there, huh? No, this is not the right way. Pretty dope. Definitely no fish in here. I'm just remembering, I think the last time I came here, this entire thing was just dry. That is a big big tree it's red cardinals again there's a ton of red cardinals out here still haven't seen no snake though Imagine all the aquatic life living in here. Where's the water moccasin? There gotta be a water moccasin out here somewhere. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, look at that. Some people over there waiting. Like I said, I 
hill is still steep. Sorry, bro. I wouldn't be waiting in that. How the hell did they get to that side? I might be able to manage this. I need to break down the scooter and try to get down. I mean, before I do, though, it'd be nice to see him catch something before I work my way down there, though. Well, Ray. Nothing to do with this. Nothing to it but to do it, bro, man. You come way out here not to put in the work. All right, let's see if I can get down this hill. Okay. Here we go, y'all. Time to go down the Deep hill of death. It's good, it's good. Light work, baby. Light work, Ray. There we go, light work. So I just saw somebody catch something. That's all I need to see for motivation. You go down. Let's try to get it done. All right, just don't get stuck on the first cast. So what we're gonna do is bring the rattle trap and impress our audience over here that's staring at us. What the fuck? Something by my foot, something by my foot. Okay. It's just a branch right now. Relax. It is just a branch. Branches aren't alive. Come on, baby. Can't get skunked. Cannot get skunked. Don't get skunk, baby. Don't get skunk. I'm just getting frustrated, man. I'm getting frustrated because the fish are here. Because the gentlemen in front of me are catching them. I just can't tell what kind of tandem rig they're using. I'm not gonna, oh my God. The lure looks amazing. Snap. Snap, crackle, pop. Eight pound test. This flew the only road runner to the other side of the river. It's all good, man. It's just a sign that I need to put the rooster tail on. That's all that means. So let me put the rooster tail on, stop playing games. Rooster tail is about to kill it, I know. The dude is on again. He's caught, he's caught about maybe five since I've been over here. Am I, am I mad? Yeah. Am I hating? Yeah. Am I jealous? Yeah. All the above. It's all good though, my guy. It's all good. Let's put the rooster tail on. I'll be back. This is my all time, all time favorite freshwater lure, rooster tail. When I was in high school, a little teen, fishing, catching bass for the first time. It's all about the rooster tail, man. I once caught 17 bass in one day with one, one rooster tail. It's an amazing day. I'll never forget it. Here we go. 
Rooster tail never fails. I can only get about 10, 15 yard cast out of it though. So let's hope these fish are close. Okay, he's doing like a retrieval stop. Retrieval stop. Interesting. I gotta look at my map and see how the hell it got over there. <laughs> yeah, he's doing like a retrieval stop. So I let it hit the bottom. And retrieval stop. Retrieval stop. Retrieval stop. Retrieval. Retrieval stop. There we go. We on baby. Finally, finally got one. Get on a boat. Get on a boat. Get on a boat. All we did was see what they were doing and imitated it and we got it done. Retrieval stop, retrieval stop. Got one and a nice one at that. There we go. Finally, man. Oh, come on now. Let's not put the, I don't care if it's $32. You never put the rod and wheel in the sand. All right, so the guys on the other side, they've been killing it, right? So I've really been watching like what they're doing. I don't know what kind of lures they're using, but they're definitely using kind of some kind of tandem, tandem rig, right? And with the tandem rig, um, I was watching that one guy who keeps, he kept getting stuck, right? So he kept getting stuck on the bottom. So I was really watching his retrieval and he's retrieving, stop, retrieving, stop, retrieving, stop. And that's what it did. The retrieval, stop, retrieval, stop on the rooster tail. So maybe it's just like the retrieval that I need to kind of work on and we'll see. Finally. All right, so we're not keeping fish anyway. So if I'm gonna my guy. All right, I want to make sure that wasn't a fluke. Let's do it again. All right, man. It's probably like the fifth lure, but we're going to try a little tiny crankbait. I'd be lying if I tell you I can remember catching a fish on a crankbait before. So it's going to hit something on the bottom. Hopefully a fish before it hits a branch. Oh, got him, got him, got him. This, this looks like a different species, y'all. <laughs> nope, another yellow. This gonna look like a striped bass. Could it be the crankbait is the key? Let's set up your pretty slime since you're so small. There we go. Yep, see so you gotta put it close like that. Make sure you see how big it is. <laughs> It looks like it's a yellow perch or a yellow bass. I'm not sure, but it bit the crankbait. See, so can we get another one? All right, let's call it a day. All right. All right, y'all. That's all I got, man. I know it's a slow day, but that's fishing, right? If you like the video still give it a thumbs up if you didn't like the video still give it a thumbs up um just comment below man comment below has fishing how's fishing been for y'all for the winter it's been sucking for everybody salt water came the fresh water still sucky um but you know what i still got out the house so i'm happy about that if you want to see more of my fishing camping and crabbing adventures make sure you subscribe to the channel once again my name is right roy aka fishing trips <laughs> it's been real y'all peace